everyone. I'm Sharon Tay. And I'm Lena Wynn in tonight for Rick Garcia. A deadly crash involving three big rigs and traffic brought to a crawl. The 60 freeway in Diamond Bar is slowly get getting back to normal tonight after a tragic accident this morning. Thanks. An Ojai woman was hurt today when she was attacked by a bear. Now, she was walking her dog just north of town when she saw... Thanks. KCAL 9 has learned about a plea bargain proposal from the lawyers representing the man accused of the Seal Beach Salon massacre. Scott DeCry was back in court today. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Jilly found out how the upcoming election could play a key role in DeCry's potential sentence. A California town made famous by Aaron Brockovich faces an uncertain future. Two-thirds of the people living in Hinkley have accepted a PG&E buyout. Before Facebook, there was a website to connect chronically ill and special needs kids, but only a doctor can give them information on how to join this site. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson shows us the Star Bright site continues to change lives. In Health Watch tonight, a popular brand of sunscreen is being recalled after several people caught fire while using it. It's been 40 years since Charles Manson and his followers were convicted of eight murders. Well, now the LAPD wants to know if they were involved in up to a dozen more unsolved killings. KCAL 9's Melissa McCarty has more on the investigation. A woman in a wheelchair made a deadly mistake at a metro station when she tried to use the escalator because the elevator was broken. Now, the tragedy reveals the difficulties for people with disabilities when services aren't there for them. KCAL 9's Louisa Hodge talked to, with an activist about this problem. There's supposed to be an announcement made on trains approaching a station to warn passengers of a broken elevator. Metro says it doesn't know if that happened in this case. Now we also asked how many stations currently have broken elevators. Metro was unable to provide us with that information. A spokesman says Metro hopes to have answers to these questions when its investigation is complete in about a week. The fallout continues after thousands of pa pages of once a secret perversion files were revealed rather from the uh, Boy Scouts of America. 19 Orange County men are in those files and were banned from the organization because of allegations of child sex abuse. Don't look now, but Black Friday is just five weeks away and experts believe this year we could see the best discounts in years. And evidence that the Massachusetts pharmacy at the center of the meningitis outbreak ignored warnings given years ago by federal inspectors. It all starts at 9 on KCAL 9 News. We hope to see you then. Room for babies, five to be exact. A Fullerton father is preparing for the homecoming of his wife and their new family additions. KCAL 9's Andrea Fujii spoke to the proud papa about everything he's doing to get ready for life with quintuplets. Nine. Welcome back. I'm Sharon Tay. A key issue in campaign 2012 is Prop 32. It would limit how unions can raise money for political campaigns. KCAL 9's Randy Page ex examines both sides of the Prop 32 debate. Well, earlier this month, prices jumped by almost 20 cents overnight. Analysts say state approval for early sales of winter blend gas is causing this drop. Call it a slip and slide, tech giant Google rebounded a bit today after its third quarter earnings slipped out before the markets closed yesterday. Now that sent the stock. The next four years could bring big changes for the U.S. military. President Obama plans to continue cutting defense spending. Republican challenger Mitt Romney wants to restore what's been taken away. KCAL 9's Susan McGinnis reports it's an important issue, especially in Virginia. Dozens of TSA agents face firing or suspension for not properly screening bags at one of the nation's busiest airports. A new website is connecting teens with special needs, but only a doctor can give people information on how to join this site. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson shows us the Star Bright site. Oh, a great resource. Yeah, indeed. All right, stepped outside and... You did. Uh, yes, I did. Were I you had chilly? I was. <laughs> I almost had to grab a, a, a leather jacket. No, just a sweater. A light hoodie. A light hoodie. Nice. Or a wrap, in my case, a hoodie in your case. Okay, perfect. Yes. But it's chilly outside. It is a little chilly outside. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, more of the same for the weekend. And Good. You, you may Good. even need... Uh, Gotta like that. Uh, here's a look ahead to the top of the hour. Hardware stores can be a bit intimidating for some women. Well, tonight, the franchise that's going female-friendly... Hello, I'm Lena Wynn, and tonight for Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. Tonight, a sexual assault has women feeling uneasy in an area that's usually considered safe. Police are still trying to track down a predator who attacked a woman outside a bar. Traffic is now flowing normally on the 60 freeway in Diamond Bar after a deadly accident this morning. One person we also reminded the court that the armed robbery at a Las Vegas hotel five years ago was caught on camera. 
Ahead of Monday's foreign policy debate in Boca Raton, Florida, both presidential contenders spent the day on the road looking for boats. Stay away from that area. That's <laughs> the bottom line. CSI New York star Gary Sinise is showcasing his musical side. Sinise and the Lieutenant Dan Ban are putting the spotlight on a good cause and what's become a yearly jam. KCAL 9's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is live at the concert on the CBS. Long before there was Facebook, social networking was helping children with serious illnesses keep in touch with each other through the Star Bright website. Ten. A California town made famous by Aaron Brockovich faces an uncertain future. Two-thirds of the people living in Hinkley have accepted a PG&E buyout. That's 300 residents imp impacted by chromium-6 groundwater and contamination. KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Greg Mills shows us the impact of this decision. It's true. All right. Should we check in with uh, our chief? Oh, yes, our chief. <laughs> our chief, Josh Rubenstein. <laughs> who's filling in for Evelyn Tapp tonight. <laughs> Thanks for watching KCAL 9 News at 10. Sports Central starts right now. Have a great weekend, yeah, everybody. Thanks.